The node rating panel is where self-assessment ratings are entered and appears whenever you click a node on a base map that's open for assessment. The title of the node is displayed at the top of the panel. If you're unsure about its meaning, then you can see a detailed description of the node by clicking at the Read Description link below the title. Rating a node is a three-step process, which is indicated in the progress bar at the top of the panel. These steps should be performed in sequence though it is possible to move back and forth between them. The first step is to poll the team for their views. Enter each team member's rating by clicking their rating choice. Ratings can be deleted by clicking the minus button for the choice. Note how the rating scores for each choice are indicated as a tally number and a bar chart line. This helps the assessment facilitator gauge the range of views in the team. The second step is to choose a consensus rating for the team's group decision on how the node should be rated overall. A consensus rating is used to indicate if the node is OK or problematic in the assessment map. The third and final step is to decide whether to flag the node for attention. Meerkat makes a suggestion based on the consensus rating and the level of variability in the team polls, but you can override this if you wish. You can add comments or attach files to each node to help build the evidence base for your decisions. The total number of comments and files is indicated next to the corresponding icons. Clicking the Done button will advance you to the next node in the node rating sequence. Move backwards or forwards through the nodes by clicking their cards displayed to the right of the panel. The card with the yellow background is the current node, and the cards above and below are the previous and next nodes in the recommended sequence. Close the panel anytime by clicking the Back to Map button, or by clicking outside the node rating panel. That was easy.